Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about DOT. Yeah, on the Polkadot chart, we are still dealing here with um, possibly this wave two correction that would be ideal. I mean, it's finally reached our our support area. I'm happy about that. I was already um, concerned that it might leave without us. So it's now reached this support area. It's still a very shallow wave two though, but the move down looks very corrective, which is good. So it doesn't look impulsive to the way to the downside. And it still has a lot of space. I mean, all the way down to $3.96. And below that level, we don't even have invalidation. It's just increasingly likely then that it's going to break. Um, but overall, my interpretation is that we have five waves up. Um, I don't like this wick. It's very shallow for a wave four, but it's acceptable. So I am going with the interpretation that wave five of one was complete. Um, alternatively, wave one is still in the making, okay? But um, yeah, I mean, this could be a wave four correction instead of a wave two, but um, it looks to me due to the size more like a wave two, especially if you compare it to the size of this wave two. Um, if this here was a wave four, it would be huge compared to that wave two. So again, you know, um, can be both, but I'm leaning to the idea it's a wave two. It doesn't matter also too much at the moment in the short term. The idea is we're coming down in this support area and to this support area I shared with you in one of the previous videos here the Fibonacci extensions. It uh, reached this white zone now. We use them to put them basically above the support zone to indicate where we might get some confluence or additional, just additional levels to watch. We've got here $4.87. That's the first level it reacted to here today. That's at the 38.2 um, retracement. Ideally, in any wave two, I would always like to see the price get at least to the 50% retracement level. However, these days I'm adding the 38.2 retracement level because, you know, had I not done that down here, people might have missed it. So it's it makes sense. And then you just have to be wise you with your position sizing when you want to scale in into these boxes or you're just watching the levels and apply your own strategy. You know, you have to do what's comfortable for you, but I prefer to show all the levels that a wave two can react to. I can only mention to you that when we talk about reward and risk and likelihoods and everything, it is preferable to see that wave two get to at least um, the 50% retracement, basically here $4.58, maybe even a little lower, $4.32 or even $3.96, even though I don't really want it to go down that much. What would be ideal would be maybe for it to test this previous breakout point, the red line, um, which was here at around about $4.30. That's also very much in line with the golden ratio, um, the 61.8 retracement level end. If I zoom out a little bit, it's also in line with this descending trend line. We had that trend channel here to which the price could also, um, well, react if we get a retest. Yeah, That was our breakout point out of the price channel here end of October, uh, early November. And um, yeah, I'm just highlighting levels of confluence here. For me, that's a corrective move to the downside. Below $3.96, I would have to take a bearish perspective on the dot chart. But um, yeah, we've been watching for a deeper pullback from up there. This is happening now and this is another potential opportunity zone. And as long as we're holding $3.96, a third wave rally is reasonable. That's my update about DOT. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.